Hey there! In this lesson, we are going to model our bike using splines and sweeps. We are going to start by creating a spline. It's just a shape, a stroke, just to learn how the sweep tool works. So just draw it like we were in Illustrator and then create a circle. Lower the radius and now create a sweep. Drag the circle to the sweep and then the spline to the circle. This is giving us the thickness of our object. The circle is giving us the thickness and the spline is giving us the shape. And guys, this is how the sweep works in Cinema 4D. And let's continue. We are going to give a shape to our bike. Now we are going to start with the frame, which has a triangular or rectangular shape. So we are going to create a rectangle perfect and then we are going to make it editable to modify the points as we need so we can modify the points and guys as you can see we have something resembling the frame of the bike right kinds of now let's select the points with the rectangular selection tool and after that right click and click chamfer. Now click and drag to the right to round the edges. As you can see the edges of the spline are now smoother. Now we are going to create a sweep and a circle. Remember that the circle must be parented to the sweep and then the spline must be parented to the circle. It's going to look a bit deformed because of our circle is big. But if we modify the size to make it smaller, we'll see that it looks better. So modify the radius. Guys, we have here the shape of our object, which is this one. And we have the circle, which gives us the thickness of the object. That's what is this tool for. Great, we have our main structure, so let's move on to the wheel part. For that, we'll use a primitive called tor torus. We're going to move it 90 degrees and reduce the radius. Perfect. Let's place it over here and create another one by duplicating it. So hold down Ctrl and drag it to the left. Go back to your reference image. We have the wheels and the frame. Now we are going to do the fork. So move the frame and the wheels a little bit. Great, once again, perfect. So now we are going to create a rectangle and make it smaller until it has a height that goes from the upper part of the frame to the middle of the wheel. Perfect and to make it a little bit narrower, perfect. Now we're going to rotate it 90 degrees while holding down shift. Now check the rounding box, fine. Now adjust a little bit the height and the width and make a copy of our sweep with Ctrl C and Ctrl V. We're going to change the shape so Delete the one that comes with the duplicate 
and now we have the front part of our bike. So let's move it a little bit. So it's time to do the same for the back, duplicate the four coating control and dragging it to the left. Let's rotate this a little bit. Perfect. And now we're going to create another copy with Ctrl C and Ctrl V and then rotate our rectangle like this. Perfect. So our object is starting to look more like a bike, right? Let's move the wheel to the left a little bit. Great. And this is where the seat and the chain are going to be placed. So let's modify the main sweep to make it a little bit smaller. Okay. So select these points and move it a little bit to make it narrower, to make it smaller. Perfect. Let's move the wheel as well. That's it. And this one as well. Perfect. Guys, it really looks like a bike, right? Let's create a cylinder and rotate it while holding down shift. Perfect. Then place it in the middle of the wheel. And this will be the base of our chain. Guys, don't bother too much about the design because we are giving it a very minimalist look. It's not a realistic illustration or figure, so you don't worry about it. Perfect. Now we are going to make a copy of it by holding Ctrl and dragging. And this will be the crank. Now we are going to use a sweep to create the chain, so Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Move the rectangle to the middle and rotate it. Just place it in the correct place. Okay, rotate it a little bit and keep moving it. Perfect, so this is our chain, like make it bigger. Perfect. And now we are going to change the radius. So the chain is done, more or less. So we enable the sweep. Modify the size of the cylinder too. Okay. Now this one, go to object, perfect. And do the same with this one. After that, move the change a bit to the inside. Okay, it's looking great so far, right? Create now another cylinder in the upper part. This one will be the base of the handlebar. Let's make it bigger to make it uh, as a base. And now we are going to create a cycle. Change the plane to the X set. Move it to the top and make it smaller. There we go. We are only going to use one half of it.
So we are going to make it editable by pressing the C key. And now we need to delete one of the points. First, uncheck Closer Spline, OK, delete this point, and now we just have half a circle. Rotate it 90 degrees. That's it. And then press Ctrl C, Ctrl V to create another sweep. Drag the circle to the sweep and delete the other spline. And here we have another element of our, our bike. Great! Our bike is almost done. We are only missing the saddle and the pedals. So, to do so, we are going to create a sphere and place it at one end of the handlebar. OK, then we are going to duplicate it to the other side. Perfect. And now, using a cube, we are going to organize this a little bit first. OK, let's move these sides up. OK, so that we have all these elements in a single section. So we are going to create a cube and move it up, place it, and then scale it. We are going to make it editable by pressing the C key. Select the top polygon and move it down, just to give it the shape of a saddle. Perfect. Now we are going to use a bevel deformer. So we have this first shape. We are going to duplicate it and place it down here. And we have two of them. The only missing thing are the petals. How are we going to grade them? We are going to use the rear view. That's it. So we go there. Let's click here and Using the pen tool, let's create a line over here. Perfect. Then go to this other view and create a line that goes up. So we have this line that will be part of our pedal. Let's tweak it a little bit. Select this point, right click and select chamfer. All right. There we have it. Now create another strip. Delete this spline that's inside the, that is inside and parent the new spline to the cycle. Let's lower the radius a little bit and duplicate the shape and then OK, and now we are going to rotate it. Once we have it, we are going to place it properly. That's it. OK, I think we need to rotate it a little bit downwards. But first, as you can see, the center of the axis is far from the shape. So let's move it up. OK, done. And now we can rotate it. That's it. After that, create two small cubes, one for each petal. So we have this first cube here. OK. 
and the bicycle will be almost done by now. So let's place this cube properly. Perfect. Check the fillet box and then duplicate the cube. But first mo modify the shape. So delete the copy. And let's duplicate it and move it to here. Perfect. And our bicycle is done. As you can see, it has a minimalist look, but it's similar to the one in the reference image. Let's create now the, the spike rack. So select all the objects that we have and press Alt G to group them. Now move the bike and they name the group bike. Create a cube for the floor of, a, of the bike rug. Check the fillet box. Move up the bike just a little bit. And now we're going to create a rectangle and modify it according to the rug. Perfect. That's it, make it smaller. And we are going to make it editable. But first, uncheck close the spline. We want to make a cut from this side. So right click here and select set first point. Okay, let's make the cut now. To do so, just right click and select the line cut tool. Make a cut by just dragging over here. Now select this point, right click and choose set first point. So our shape is finished. Let's move these points up a little bit. And now we are going to uh, make a chamfer in the top part. So right click, chamfer, and then round the edges. Perfect. Now, like we've been doing until now, copy sweep, delete the spline that comes with it and parent the rectangle to the cycle. Move the pivot point or axis point and afterwards create two more copies of the sweep. One and two. We could even create another one. Perfect. Awesome. So we've just finished the bike rack for our scene. Okay, I really like it. See you in the next video.